Hello, welcome to Mousetrap Unsolved. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the mysterious murder of Mrs. Marine Lyon. Uh, Mrs. Lyon was previously known as Mrs. Stanning, and she was married to Mr. Stanning, and she was involved in the infamous Longridge Farm case. So, pretty much what happened is that they took in three children and then neglected them. And then uh, one of the children named Jimmy died of ill treatment due to it. And so they were both put in prison. Wait, and so let me get this straight. Their last name was Stanning, but the farm they work is called Longridge Farm. Yeah. Who names farms? <laughs> Not them. I guess. Uh, really? Well, I don't know, like, the story of how they got the farm. I, don't, I guess I'm not really adept in farm knowledge, but... When it, shouldn't it be like the Stanning's Farm or Stanning Farms? Maybe like they were also previously Is, is the farm on a ridge? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, they got thrown in prison and Mr. Stanning died in prison and Mrs. Stanning uh, served her sentence and was released. But then she just got like, just she just got killed. And so she got strangled to death on 24 Culver Street. Somebody strangled her the day after she was released? <laughs> Yes, I think. She just strut out of prison <laughs> into somebody's hands on her throat. So she was killed. And um, all that was left uh, well, was her body. And also... <laughs> all that was left? How big was this guy's arms? Is her body gone? Well, no, I meant to say that... She was strangled uh, and just obliterated by it? No, she just was strangled. Like an Infinity War character? No. She was strangled to death, and there was a note, and it said, um, it was like, this is the first, and then there was like a drawing of mice on it. <laughs> also on the note, there were two addresses, and one was 24 Culver Street, where she was killed, uh, where she got murked, and the second one was, uh, Monkswell Manor, where the, where, uh, so that's where we're going. We're going Wait, to Moscow. So not only did this murderer say, this is only the first, but then he said, this is where I'll be next. <laughs> yes. He's going on tour. Yeah. Follow me, police. Here's the second address. What a dip. Anyway. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, there was an investigation led at Monkswell to figure out uh, who, who of them was the murderer. And there were seven suspects. And uh, so let's get into that. So... The first two suspects are the owners of Monksville Manor. They're uh, Giles and Molly Ralston, and they recently had inherited the manor from her aunt. Uh, Do they like poems? It. Yeah, that seems like something you do when you run a manor house. Run a manor house and just go kill random ladies after they get out of prison. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so there, there was Mrs. Boyle. Uh, who we found out was a magistrate who, like, was the judge who decided where the children were gonna go, and then she sent them to Longridge. I always did wonder what judges were doing when they weren't just in their black robes on a pedestal. <laughs> they're going to Moxville Manor. Apparently they're killing people. I feel like a judge wouldn't leave a note <laughs> saying, like, hey, policeman, follow me, hee <laughs> hee, we can play tag. <laughs> Well, they're a judge. Like, maybe they're good at writing. Right. Next suspect we got is Major Metcalf. He's a old army veteran. Never trust them. I don't. I've. <laughs> how can you? You know? Uh, apparently they're... I mean, he he's, it was in the army. Maybe he has experience in he strangulation. Would know. He would know. So he probably knows a thing or two. So we got to look out for him, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the next suspect is Christopher Wren, who was named after the famous architect we all know and love. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Our favorite know. architect. You know him. You know Chris. You know good old Chris, um, Chrissy Wren. Yeah, so he's named after him, and Chris was just real, he's just quite an odd fellow. Like, he's just really bizarre, and... And that just means you're strangling that people in their homes, right? That's weird. it. If you're weird, you're obviously strangling people in their homes. I never know. I mean, he could be. Either that or he's 
he's an architect. The next suspect is Leslie Casewell. She, um, she's a traveler. She travels abroad. She's been traveling abroad for quite a bit, but for some reason she's like, you know what? I want to go to Monksville Manor. She's been, she's for like, for she's been to like Italy and like Mallorca or whatever that is, but she's like, you know where I need to go? Monksville Manor. And so now on to the last suspect. Yeah. Who? Okay. Yeah, the last suspect, Mr. Paravicini. Mr. Who? Mr. Paravicini. Mr. Panini? Yes, Mr. Panini is like an Italian. That's a fake name. There's no way. <laughs> that's his name. There's no way on earth that that's a real name. It's... Mr. Paravicini? <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly kind of offended that somebody would think about such a horrible you fake name. You think this is the oddest part about this entire thing? So, Paravicini, uh, he's, he's, he's weird too. They're all pretty weird, you know, uh, as suspects are. He also, the guests were like, they noticed that he wears makeup to appear older than he is, but he moves like a... It's 2018. <laughs> I'm not saying he can't wear makeup, I'm just saying... He does. Uh, very suspicious behavior, you know. That never happens. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, well, I mean, what wasn't, was there a weather problem or? Oh, there was a, there's a blizzard, yeah. So. So, I mean, that kind of explains that. Yeah, but f they find it very odd. <laughs> so this, all the investigations were led by Sergeant Trotter, who just skied over, you know, as sergeants do. He can ski? Um, yeah, he has some skis, and he said, I skied over. Nothing but respect for <laughs> those that can ski. They really are out here in the most trying times. Mm -hmm. He skied over to look for a murderer in Monkswell. So, yeah. Do they have any, um, like, does he have anything to look for, really? He's, he just, well, because the thing had the two uh, locations he's on it. He's just flying blind. He is, but he's, he's got a mission. So he's he's got a hunch that one of them is a murderer. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah. With such a wide range of suspects, how are they gonna narrow this down? I don't know. We're gonna have to figure. I guess we're gonna have to go see. You know? You're gonna have to go see it. You're, we're gonna have to go see. Ah, uh, we're gonna yeah. have to go see this 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 mouse trap. Mm -hmm. It it really is. You know, if I had to pick one word to describe this murder mystery, I'd probably say mousetrap. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just like... It fit, you know, it's fitting. It's really fitting. It's fitting. It's like the most fitting thing I could think of for this. Yeah. So what? what's the state of the case? <laughs> I would call it... Unsolved. unsolved.